extra precaution when uh, a woman does reconstruction with other part of the body, like the muscles. So we have uh, disturbance of blood vessels. Um, the areas where the tissue is taken from can be sore, numb, so it's not only here, but it's not, it can be here or here, it depends on where they, um, the tissue is taken from. And definitely people experience weakness in that area. And compromise, the body tries to compromise. So after surgery, uh, right after surgery, avoid the whole sur surgical site. Yeah, let it heal. Um, a woman will have, I don't know if you'll end up seeing somebody, if you go to the hospital to see them, you will see that they have drains coming out of the surgical area. Those are little uh, bowls that are uh, filled with fluid. It looks pretty, I can say, like it is, it's gross, yeah? So, uh, but they have to live with it for, for 10 weeks or 10 days until all the fluid or uh, most of the fluid is out. Um, I'll talk about that when we remind me of a DVT. There's a risk of blood clots after surgery, and you want to make sure there's no blood clots usually in the extremities. After surgery, they'll have little pumps that will keep pumping. Again, because we talked about lymph, um, there's nothing that moves the lymph, so those pumps will keep uh, moving the lymph and the blood because a uh, person is immobile for a while. Um, Use light lymphatic massage on arms and neck, no matter what, in the beginning, right after surgery. Offer pillows to make your client as comfortable as could be. Sometimes pillow under the arm, um, under the neck. So you know all of those procedures are not different for any other surgery or any other condition that thought somebody needs some more support. Client can stomach can be low, so be sensitive about how long to work on that. Even if they schedule for an hour and a half, they may not be able to take an hour and a half. So monitor how they're doing. Um, I sometimes go to the to see clients right at the hospital, and we just do a little bit, and then chat, and then a little bit more. So just see where the client is. Um, communicate for sure about comfort and pressure, and like we talked before, always get the doctor's approval before you do anything else uh, about the reconstruction side.